Hello everybody. Well this MQ-9 Reaper was what drones used to look like. Today somehow all multi-rotor machines that we used to call quadcopters are now also called drones. Well when I decided to restore my MQ-9 after the wings folded due to pulling too many G's in a turn and a lack of sufficient wing spar, it was my intention to try a lemon receiver in it with a satellite and a telemetry module. I've tried to be fair with lemons, oranges, and grapes and acquired them with my apple. I now have 19 orange receivers with satellites and use them in all my gas and electric planes and helicopters and have gained a lot of trust in the orange receivers. This electrically noisy irreplaceable vintage Nexus 30 with orange DSM-2 and satellite has proven to be very trustworthy. I fly it all the time. These old fly bar helis took some caution as they didn't roll or loop very fast, had no receiver stabilization and needed lots of room unlike today's fly barless helis. These machines and many more all have orange DSM-2 receivers including my P-80 Shooting Star which was featured in Model Airplane News Magazine this month and finally flew once the balance was figured out. So I've built up a lot of confidence in them. You know I must point out that the orange receivers are not copies of Spectrums and they are very well made. I have given many of them away as gifts and everybody likes them. You know when the lemon receiver came there were no instructions to it and it was just in a baggie. The only reason I bought it was because it had telemetry and my DX8 generation 2 transmitter just released has telemetry. So this was the receiver I was going to try. Well with about six hours of very frustrating experiment with it I could not get the fail safe to work. Neither would the DX8 failsafe work with it. The green failsafe light on the receiver was on all the time when I first got it, then it shut off and it never came back on no matter what I tried. There's a little button to push to turn it on. The reason that this is important is because to test it is to shut off the transmitter leaving the receiver on. In the case of the Lemon, I shut off the transmitter and the servers all run to their full extremes. The throttle servo went to full throttle and that's just the opposite way it's supposed to work. Well this can scare the hell out of you when an electric motor takes off full blast if you lose signal or mistakenly turn off your transmitter first. You know binding with the throttle down is all you have to do with the DX8 generation 2 for its fail safe to work but it would binding. not work with the lemon. DSMX 22 milliseconds. Telemetry bind complete. It's not the seller's fault either. I'm sad it didn't work for me and I believe that I researched it a lot. Well, I worked in electronics in the RC radio manufacturing industry for many, many years. And I learned a lot about a couple of things. In most cases, electronics either work or they don't. There's no halfway. Also, if something works for five minutes, it'll probably work for five years. So not able to get the lemon to work, it was requested I send it back. I bought it from an Amazon seller not direct from Lemon. That seller still has not sent me a replacement or refund in three weeks now and not wanting to wait and when I found out Orange Receiver had released a new version 2 of their telemetry receiver, the R620 V2 series, I ordered two of them from HobbyKing.com. Well it came in full directions written in perfectly spelled English and was packed in an anti-static bag which is very professional. And I didn't even have to go online to find the directions to use or understand it. I also bought two of the small micro satellite receivers to go with it. There are two plugs on the receivers so you can actually plug in two satellite receivers for security and more diversity. This is pretty smart. Well I wanted to fly up high for some real high pictures from the airport as the Reaper drones were originally invented for. And I also wanted full range confidence and that's the reason I bought it. And I wanted some telemetry. Well the range turned out to be way more than I expected. The next thing was my original raid motor quit in the middle of the flight and never worked again. It finally burned out and never made it back so an hour in the cornfield convinced me to get a bigger better motor. 
The original motor always was a bit marginal for this Reaper, so I ordered a new one from Super Cub 2011. This motor is really nice and didn't need to add any tail weight to balance a plane. It's a Neo 32 800 kiloboat. It's very smooth and runs very cool. Thank you. 